feels like a weight has been lifted after everything that's happened recently, so. This road is something else. Hello everyone and welcome back. It's been a while. We're Cheska and Ben and we live full time in our self-converted sprinter van, Sophia. If you've seen our last video, you'll know why we've been AWOL the past few weeks. But now we're out the other side and ready to get back to life as normal. And for us, that means getting back on the road. Worth it? Yeah. First stop is France. Subscribe and join us for the ride. I was just in the van making dinner and Ben thinks a wolf potentially came into That's camp. River, river, stay. What is it, River? She can smell something. Mm. Lots of love. Lots of love, darling. Looking forward to seeing the kitchen. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Well, oh, six months we later, go. we are finally back on the road. We're just getting ready to go onto the Euro Tunnel and I forgot just how easy it is to get on the Euro Tunnel. Literally just, even when you drive yeah, yeah, in yeah. to check in, it recognises your number plate and then brings up your booking and it's just, I just forgot how easy it was. And I think we need to get into France, um, the self-certification form um, that states we don't have any COVID symptoms and our passports and River's little pet passport. It's only valid for the next three, four months. Expensive three month passport, yeah. River. We're on our way. Finally, after six months back. We're heading off, aren't we? Yes. And it's a yeah, much needed. Yes, much, needed. much, much needed break. Feels like a weight has been lifted after everything that's happened recently. So, and um, it's just nice to be stood at. Well, it's ten to nine, a bit late for us normally. In the sun, the sun is hot, it's warm. There's nobody here. I can't believe it. I thought this was a place was going to get really busy, but it's beautiful, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. There's a hot air balloon. Yeah. Over the skies. No, it feels really good. It just, I don't know. It's hard to explain. River, river, away, ah, ah. So it's a little later now and we have just uploaded our update vlog. So if you're wondering where we've been the past six, seven weeks, that video explains it all and um, it hasn't been the easiest of summers that we've ever had. In fact, it's probably been the most difficult. Definitely been the, one of the worst summers. One of the I worst think. summers we've ever had. I can't um, think of another time it hasn't been any worse, so I'm gonna go for the worst summer. Yeah, so, but I just wanted to say a quick thank you to everyone who's already left us some amazing comments. They've been incredible yeah, you, messages of support much. and I wouldn't expect anything less from the amazing people that watch our videos so thank you okay I'll hold it okay there we go that's better so so yeah it's about six o'clock now about that I think yeah. and we're in the most picturesque tranquil park I think we've ever been in and we are in near Champagne Champagne yeah we're just on France. the outskirts of Champagne I think aren't we yeah we are in the middle of these cornfields and there's a series of like old fishing ponds um, they are disused and there's like old signs telling you not to fish there but those signs look like they're years old they're so I don't know how long, long they've been disused for um, there's quite a lot of algae on the wall is it algae or algae? I call it algae 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 there's a lot of algae on the water and um, if you didn't know the blue green algae can be really toxic to dogs 
Um, Speaking so of dogs, ours has gone missing. Let me just go and grab River her. Well away from the water. River. Oh, there's a dog there. She is. She's just basking. And we've just had yeah a really lovely couple of days just getting the update video filmed and just kind of getting back into the swing of things. It's gonna apparently it's gonna get to like 36 degrees tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So I think we're gonna try and do two, three hours drive first thing in the morning. Yeah, find so and then just hot. yeah, so. We don't get have base aircon for. In the van, do we? Yeah, no, no aircon. So we need to drive early to get set up, so then river can be nice and comfortable in the heat of the day. Yeah, it's the kind of place that you just come here and just forget the outside world exists. <laughs> so after, when after, holds the camera, after a while, my eye hurts, so I'm looking through the finder, so I have to hold my other eye because it hurts. Eye. Let me show you on this camera. So this is what Ben starts doing. Oh, never mind. Good girl. Good girl. It's just yeah, amazing just to see how much River's enjoying like van life. She is quite happy to sit and sleep in the van as we're driving and then she'll kind of she doesn't really stray too far from the van, but then as soon as all these like new smells and sights and stuff, she's just in her element and it's just so nice to see. So where we are, we're lucky that there's like so much open land and all these tracks that rivers bombing up and down, which is great. It's just lovely. Like I said, there's what, there's one older couple that have just turned up in the car to read their paper. Apart from that, there's no one else here. Yeah, again, we've got the whole place for ourselves. Lovely. Here is the next chapter of Van Life. Next chapter of Van Life. Cheers. Cheers. Come on. Anyway, it's a bright and early start today. We have read that the temperature is going to hit about 36 degrees today. And as we said yesterday, we have no aircon in the van. So we're going to be, it's about nine o'clock. Yeah, nine o'clock. The sun is, well, the sun rises really slowly. Now it's kind of mid to late September. I need to stop and get some food on the way as well. Stop, get some food, we'll get a bit of shopping, uh, and then to the next destination. Which we which have we no have idea. No idea where that's going to be, do we? We'll find that on the way, shall we? Try and find somewhere as nice as this. one very hot long drive i feel like my eyes are hurting me even though i've had my sunglasses on yeah just from like how bright the sun is everywhere and this part of france like northeastern france is just fields everywhere as far as i can I see know, yeah, corn yeah, fields after like maize field oh it's just absolutely crazy yeah so we're taking the we're not going on the toll roads are we so we're doing no. all the back roads parked up next to a river a, a dried up river very very dried up river. um in a little village called lux Luke's. I don't yeah, know how just you're outside it in Dijon, aren't you? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're near Dijon, so we're gonna go in, have some lunch. This one needs a wee and some lunch too. I'm just cooking us up bay bruschetta. It's literally the only thing we can stand right now to eat. It is that hot outside. I'm under strict instruction from Ben to make sure the tomatoes are chopped extra small. Thank you. Mm. Tomatoes could be a little bit smaller. Mm. Okay, so this is where we're parked tonight. It's just a free car park in that village called Lux. And it looks like there's a few locals that park their cars here in the evening. But there's loads of space. There's actually a freshwater fountain tap up at the top. And it would be stunning if the river was flowing through here, but unfortunately it's dried up, probably because they've had pretty hot summer. One thing that I have been thinking about since being in this part of France is that it'd be amazing to buy somewhere like that. 
and renovate it. Like a big French farmhouse. Like a nice big French farmhouse. Because the properties in south of France, in France aren't actually that expensive. No. I did look at some there, like sort of 40, 50,000 pounds. There's all the processing fees. But it's, you know, it's, it's a fraction of what you'd pay for something like that in the UK. Mm. What about buying this place? It's for sale as well. Good morning. It's a bit cooler this morning, isn't it? It's so much nicer this morning, a lot cooler. We are going to go and fill up our water or top up our water because there is a water fountain at the end of this park. And we're going to use our very handy, flat, foldable water bowls. So the reviews on Park and I said it was a, uh, a spring and clean water, clean spring water. And yeah, seems fine, tastes fine. So we'll let you know in a couple of days. Yeah, such a beautiful village or town. I'm not quite sure, it's quite big isn't it, but it's just gorgeous. We didn't find any shops though. Oh, there is that bakery though on the corner, we can see if it's open. Should I want to see if it's open? Yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah, but that's awesome. Oh, what's in the box? I got you a little treat. Ah, oh, a little pastry. I can't get, go and not get you a pastry. <gasps> Pastries are Ben's weakness. I got you like yeah. a profiterole oh, thing. Oh, jeez. Two lovely... There's the squeeze. Brush. Oh. Brush baguettes. That's a lovely little shop. Was it? I think somebody's calmed down a little bit there. <laughs> Shall we get on the road? Yes. I was thinking if it stays, if it's cloudy, let's do the three hours and go to that nice place. Yeah. We it's found a nice park up there's near some hiking trails. Yeah. So we're thinking we might go there so that she can have another good run around. Yeah, but it's three hours away, isn't it? And it's a little bit longer than we, we wanted. We don't want to do your three hour drive if it's, it's hot. hot. Yeah. So. But it'll be worth it if it's cool and then she can have a good run around after. Come on then, let's get going. Let's go. This road is something else. It is, this is. I wouldn't call it a road. No, this is a dirt track. This is a road. Wow. This was worth every that drive twist and we've got full service and full service we'll just put some big rocks behind the tires yeah, right there river worth it yeah there you can see the motorway down there but the view itself this spot was a hundred percent worth that rickety bumpy long road up it's absolutely stunning. It reminds me of one of the first places we went to in Spain. Do you remember that? Um, you might remember it from our early Spain vlogs if you were watching then. We kind of parked up on this little promontory and we had this like almost 360 degree view over the Mediterranean and... Do you remember? Come on! She is loving going off. There's a little hiking trail up there. And obviously it's the one spot that she's just kind of drawn to. You can't go disappearing up there. I read there were wolves been reintroduced into France and there's something like 500. <laughs> Did you hear that one? Um, come on River. And while I have absolutely zero expectations of seeing any and I don't think they'll be anywhere near us, I'm just paranoid about River running off on her own. Ah. River, come on, good girl. Right, as you can see, River has gone off exploring and has got herself stuck. She couldn't work out how to get back and she thought the pine cone was more important than her safety. Ah, there we go. Come on. Come on this way. Come on, okay. 
Hey, there we go. <laughs> there we go, is that right? Yes. Let's see what's going over here. Ah, hello. 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 What are you doing? Getting a fire. Trying to build a fire without river eating it. Eating the sticks. She is obsessed with sticks at the minute, so. Is it a fire for fairies? You look Ray Mears, aren't you? Huh? River, come on, away, away. Somebody has built a fire pit here, so obviously we're going to try and build a campfire, but I've got a measly selection. Sorry, I thought there was something in the trees. Um, there's a measly selection of logs, and I think there is a thunderstorm rolling in. The sky over on th this direction has just turned red, and there is just, I don't know if you can hear that behind me, that's the thunder. <laughs> I was like a little child. I was like, look at that. It was a military jet. It just flew, yeah, right through the valley. We heard it earlier. It was so loud. Wasn't we it? heard it earlier flying over. We couldn't it see it. It must have been, oh, so it must have been in a different valley, maybe. Yeah, it could have been, yeah. Oh, that was amazing. We had such a peaceful sleep here tonight. The thunderstorm didn't roll in, thankfully. We are all suited and booted and ready to go on a walk this morning. Um, there's a hiking trail just at the other end of this like, pull in. Um, and it says that there's like somewhere, there's like 20 minute walk. 20 minute walk, I think. So yeah. we're going to try it and just see what it's like. Yeah. And hopefully there's not too many steep drop offs yeah. for me. Yeah, before it gets too hot. So come on then, you should we go for a walk? So if anyone's wondering why we have River on the lead, it's because. She likes to run off a little bit, and there's a lot of sharp drops up here. Um, we don't want to lose her, so she's on the lead for a bit. We can hear something quite big moving down there, but we can't see what it is. It's probably, it's probably a, a deer or something. I want to see it. It's been a really lovely walk through some really thick forest. It's not, thankfully it's in the shade, so it's not that hot, yeah. but it is getting really steep. And we haven't hiked in a long time and we're feeling it, aren't we? Plus it said 20 minutes, it's been 20 minutes. We're not really going slow either. It has not been 20 minutes, it's been like 10 minutes. What time did we leave? I don't know, but we stopped to look for the wolf. Okay. I don't, I, I don't really, really think there's wolves here right. and I know that they would keep miles away from you. Six. But there was just a section of the wood where it was just so thick on all sides I couldn't see anything. And you know, your imagination just kind of plays tricks on you, doesn't it? Oh. What? What? Okay. We're back in that thicket just there. The path just completely stops and we can't see a clear way through. Um, and it's getting really rocky and it's just the kind of terrain where if we, if we push through we wouldn't really be easy able to get our way back and we haven't got any kind of navigation stuff with us so uh, what was really weird is that um, river but, off, yeah what was also weird is as we decided to turn back river just got spooked by something and just legged it back down didn't well, she? she could on the lead. yeah she probably bolted didn't she? yeah she wouldn't like, come back up either won't come back up in her ears were back and she was hackles around hackles up something definitely Scooter, which hasn't helped my imagination this morning. Just want to show you just how thick the wood is here. Literally can't see the wood for the trees. <laughs> well, that was a fun 20 minute little hike through the woods. You might think we're a pair of idiots for thinking there's wolves and you're probably 100% right. <laughs> you can tell we haven't been out in a while.
Should anyone else's dog love to chew things literally on their feet? So obviously River's been running around in a lot of like this grass and after that walk this morning there's a lot of like low lying bushes so I was just checking in. for ticks and yeah basically we found a tick um, just on River's like belly. So um, the best way to remove ticks, or I think the best way is just with some tweezers um, and just get as close to their skin as you can and just gently pull um, and it just came straight out. Yeah, you were very good, weren't you, River? She didn't make a sound. However, we are just going to check the rest of her fur for ticks as well. Yeah. Double check ourselves. Um, because, We'd feel yeah, them though, wouldn't we? I don't I think don't so. Know, no. But yeah, just especially when there's like all this kind of like brush and long grass around, they are a bit of a risk, so. <laughs> Safe to say someone is loving being checked for ticks. But yeah. <laughs> You've been so enjoying it, haven't you? Yeah. It's got a lot cooler. I don't know if you can see behind me. There's just some big rain clouds rolling and we had a bit of a rainstorm come rolling through. It's definitely cooled it down. I'm in my cardigan now. Um, but we're, we're going to go and try and find some firewood. Yesterday I couldn't find any logs around here. But then as we went on this little hike this morning, um, we spotted quite a lot. So. Hopefully, yeah, it's still there. hopefully it's still there. See, you can only carry a... Why have you bought your cup of tea with you? Because I don't want to go cold. Mm. River th Can you do me a favour? Could you give River a stick? River, what's this one? Come there you on. go. You're crazy, River. What's this? What's this one? What's this? You think we got enough? No, I think we should go. No? Much. There are some more. Go, 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 go! I think I can feel rain again. Let's see how that goes. The fire tonight very much depends on, you can see this huge black cloud behind me, and whether or not it's going in that direction or back towards us. I know, look at it. Thunder is getting closer, I think. Thunder's almost above us, yeah, I think. Oh, God, I can feel it in here. Oh. oh, bloody hell. Rain coming in? It's coming in now. Oh, my firewood's going to get wet. <laughs> oh. No fire tonight, I'm afraid. Well, it might be later. It's only 20 past five. Really coming in now. There's just dark cloud everywhere. But it's a little bit later now. The it's rainstorm has cleared. I was just in the van making dinner and Ben thinks a wolf potentially came that into camp. River, river, stay. I was looking for river because I couldn't find her. Um, so I started walking back up to where we walked earlier and I was shouting river, river stay. Good girl, good girl. And then this big dog, like gray white thing came out of the, to the tree line stopped stared at me river came out from running from the bushes over here and then it ran like scooted off back up through um but i, I couldn't see I, I i saw i thought oh see if it's got a collar on there'll be some behind and then i'm pretty sure it didn't have a collar on and nobody has come down the dog's not come back so unless somebody's river stay come on just to put some context, um, the wolves have been reintroduced into France because we were doing some research on this after um, the incident in, basically in the woods when we went for that walk earlier. Um, I just thought I was being a bit like dramatic, but I definitely felt really, really uneasy in the woods. And we've been on loads of hikes and we've hiked all over um, in remote places and stuff. And I've never felt as uneasy as I did in those woods. And there was definitely something walking in the woods either side of us at one point. And then something terrible, something scared River. And Ben and I were saying like, even, you know, she can smell anything, whether it's a cat, um, a bird, anything, um, doesn't really scare her. She's just interested and wants to play. The only thing that does scare her are big dogs. On walks and stuff, they can be the friendliest dogs, but 
they they scare her and she has literally that reaction so that's why i was a bit uneasy today but i just kind of brushed it off um but wolves have been reintroduced into france there is a healthy population and the area that we're in right now is on the outskirts of uh, an area called the jura mountains which is literally been named as like a wolf residence kind of place because there are definitely wolves there it is a healthy thriving population we are about three kilometers maybe from the nearest road and the dirt track we followed is about one and a half kilometers through the woods up here so it is very very remote there's no houses nearby there's no road nearby um, we've only seen two hikers who walked through yesterday lunchtime a young couple and said it was a long hike and it was hard because we said always oh, anything to see up there and they said oh it's there is a good hike but it's hard so now Ben's just seen a big grey and white dog, a big dog, that's come here, stopped, obviously to look at us and then cleared off again. Um, Stay. I'm really jealous because I, I wish I'd have seen it. I think if I'd seen it, I'd have, I'd have known. I don't know, yeah, I don't know, I think it might have just... Hey. And now we're trying to be really careful with River. So we need know. to keep an know. eye on River. I'll keep, well. I mean, if they're here and we're in the middle of we're in the middle of the forest and we're miles from any road it's not unlikely that they're nosy they're very curious animals and probably yeah. want to see what's going on i'm glad i didn't go looking for a firewood now yeah i don't think it's likely you're going to see a dog i think you're more likely to see a wolf here than you are to see a dog yeah someone's dog and you know, i didn't hear anyone call the dog back nobody called the, no. the dog back it ran off itself and i thought because it saw because it would have seen river i would have thought it would have come down and tried to you know make friends if it was like a friendly yeah. dog i guess but oh my god okay okay ben is notoriously shite with dog identification he would probably get i don't know i thought river was a, i thought river was a poodle no, I didn't really. I know what she is. <laughs> no. She's a Welsh Collie. I knew no. River. It, well, it was under that hanging bit, and it was like it not filled it because that'd be really flipping, that'd be like flipping what what are they called from bloody Game of Thrones. What are they? Direwolves. Direwolves. Um, it wasn't that big, but yeah, it, it was just big. big. It was big. Now that I've been up there again and stood there, I can see it was it was big. Yeah. Okay, River just went crazy. Started barking over there. Stay, uh, stay, stay. You okay? What is it, River? She can smell something. Mm. Right, I'm gonna, can we just get her having a wee and right, get back in the van? Okay, so we had a good night's sleep and we didn't get woken up by any wolves. We've actually got um, a security alarm that's um, a video camera and you can set it to be triggered by motion. So we had that outside the van last night and um, it didn't pick up anything. So I don't think the wolf came back. Um, I'm very convinced it was a wolf after doing a bit more research. Um, there's about, there's a really healthy, thriving wolf population here in France, especially concentrated around the east of France and in the Alps. And I think it's pronounced, or the Rhone Alps, sorry if I've pronounced that wrong. Um, which is literally exactly where we, we, we are. And one of the biggest territories for them is an area called the Jura Mountains. And we are just a few kilometres south of that. So, um, judging by how remote we are, there's no houses nearby, I think it's safe to say Ben did see a wolf last night, of which I am incredibly jealous. I will just say last night I was really, really nervous and anxious and I felt, not for me, but the fact that when Ben had seen it, it was kind of, obviously had crept up because River was playing near where it was, near the trailhead. And it was when Ben shouted River back that it ran off and... I just felt so sick thinking what could have happened, like leaving River off the lead here. It never occurred to me that if there were wolves around here, given how remote this is, that they this is probably maybe part of their territory and we're intruding on them. Um, and yeah, basically I was just really, felt really sick and felt really guilty for letting River off the lead. Especially after yesterday in the woods, feeling like there were wolves around and my gut feeling kind of thinking that there were. Um, 
I just never thought for a second they'd come this close to us, but obviously curious and obviously didn't didn't do anything bad. Um, and I know that I'm not so concerned for me and Ben. I know wolf attacks on humans are incredibly, incredibly rare. They don't really hunt humans. It was more river, I think. Yeah, it's time to say goodbye to this beautiful camp. It's definitely been an experience here, that's for sure. Yeah, this spot is just absolutely stunning. I can't imagine there's much better places to wake up to than this. So I think we're gonna leave the vlog there for this week. It's definitely been an interesting and fun it's been a start to our van great life start adventures back, again. Back to van life, isn't it? Or back to van life in Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, been, it's awesome. been awesome. So yeah, we're yeah. gonna leave camp and leave the vlog here. So thank you for watching and- We'll see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye.